It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. They will find Davis. That's complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he's got room. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And that's how you get started and open up a game. Really well-blocked play. Picked up a nice chunk of yardage. If you're the offensive line, that's exactly what you've talked about all week long in your meetings. Establish the line of scrimmage and take control. And they gave their running back plenty of room to rumble. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. So the shotgun snap to Allen. On the slant, he's got Davis. And able to get this to the 24-yard line. They began the play at the 12. It's also a pickup of 12 for the first down. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. To throw again on second down, Allen toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, as built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Now Allen. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their full band. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he shorted the line to gain. No dice for Sean McDermott in the offense. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 15. Now Jones. And caught by Henry. He's got room past the 30. And he'll be taken down, but 
they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run with a fourth-year man. This is Damian Harris. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Throwing Jones. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as he'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play, because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Throwing on first down is Allen. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. These two AFC East rivals, Buffalo and New England, and the Bills, they've kind of flipped the script in the last few years in this series. The Patriots own the division for so long, won 16 times in 17 years. But it's the Bills who have captured the title the last two years, and they crushed the Pats in the wild card round last year, you might remember, in Buffalo, 47 to 17. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Throwing is Allen on third. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to roll him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. Taken right around the 44. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, 
you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On third down, Jones. Throw left side complete. That's Smith. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. And now Nick Folk, his career long, 56 yards. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to let it go deep right sideline. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. And complete right side to Cook. And they're going to get this up to midfield. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. From midfield, here's Allen. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Here's Jones on the return. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Now, this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, this is Harris. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off play action, Jones. That swung out wide to Harris. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. 
Back to throw. Jones. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Meanwhile, Jones' throw here taken in by Parker. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off the play fake. Jones. Blitz coming and down he goes. That's Matt Milano firing in from his linebacker position. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for Pat's field goal try. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole it does get over the ball. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. one off taking it about the one returning it Isaiah McKenzie the Bills ready to take over this one a little slow to get cooking just a three nothing score line as they begin with a first and ten throw setting up the screen for Cook and he will lose yardage on the play back at his own 19 yard line but despite the completion they're going to wind up losing three there second down well Brandon we could see that play developing and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play but no such luck the speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Barney sold the go round really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Or let's see who's faster. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On 
on first down, Allen. Escaping the pressure, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judah. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield, so they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. Allen's throw is complete, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. He's got a man complete. 33 yards that time for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Allen. This is caught. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Here's Allen, and he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Bills have moved out in front. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk in the 20. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. They go play action here on first down. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones, that's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Harris running straight ahead. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 more yards there and another first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Jones throwing on first down. Complete. It's Henry. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Working with second and five now. Looking to throw. Jones. It's brought in by Harris. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield. After the catch, when they're running with the ball, they think they're going to win those, too. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Smith. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Play well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Let's go, let's go, y'all. kick this one off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. Well, there's still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. On the slant, he's got Davis. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Allen again here on second and ten. Toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Allen on first and ten. He's got the hookup with Diggs. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Patriots take it over to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Jones. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing Jones. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? 
Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Throwing to start the drive, Allen. They will find Davis, that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Allen now on first down. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. On second and 10, Allen will find Gabriel Davis. And they're going to get this up to midfield. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Allen off the play fake. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline. But out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. And this is a beauty as that ball is going to angle out at the six-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Jones now on first and 10. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Myers. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he completes it to Henry. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now Jones on first down. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I wanted to reach out of the booth and snatch that pass myself. That thing floated forever up there. I think that threw off the timing of the receiver. That's why he couldn't get his feet down even though he caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me I, too. For, for you. I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. to throw again and over the middle this is Parker and he will have a Patriots first down and he's going to have it by plenty able to get eight yards there on third and two would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball that's accurate yeah and I think we saw a college route in the NFL there just find the soft spot find the dead zone 
and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off play action. Jones. They'll roll him out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. They'll look to throw again. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this returnable for Hines. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And they will take over first and ten. Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? A well-executed 22-yard gain. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. First down, here's the run with Cook to about the 48-yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Allen now looks to throw. This one is down he goes. Dietrich Rise running through and dropping him for the sack. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's McKenzie. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. The defense, they weren't fooled on that post route. They just couldn't make the play. And the offense definitely tried to fool them because you saw the other route combinations, didn't you? Anything that they were running trying to draw attention away from the deep part of the field, but still had it covered, yet they were able to come up with a nice play. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second down at seven. Here's Allen. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Got to give credit to both defenses because they've been able to keep the points down. And despite that incompletion, I like the way he's playing. He's putting up decent numbers. What he has to do, find a way to make that sound read and hit that one home run before this one's over. Throwing his Allen on third. And this is Cook with the ground. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 16. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. 
whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. On second and nine, Allen, his throw incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Forced out to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Nice call on defense, rolling up the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. The kick by Bass is good, and they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. He had to force the field goal. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. Another goal around now for the Patriot offense. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Jones looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. He's going to air one out, and incomplete on the deep ball. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Jones going deep here for Parker. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Tredavious Wright with a pick. And the Bellsons are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Flush to his right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. He certainly did his best to find something on that run, but there just wasn't enough time to make it happen. Nice effort there, avoiding the sack and getting back to the line of scrimmage. That one certainly could have ended up worse.
On play action, Allen. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and the Patriots take over. New England trying to get to place on offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. Henry's got it out on the left side. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the 45 on second down, Jones. And throw right side complete to Parker. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 41-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And here we are in the fourth quarter, Parker, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Here's Jones throwing on first down. It's caught by Aguilar. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Only needing two yards on second down. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he'll get this to the 22. So they begin the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. 46 yards on the ground for him so far. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. This is Harris on the draw. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. The quick slant caught. A gain of seven that time, second goal. And that's now four completions in a row, a good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his off. Touchdown! Jono Smith, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Pats have taken a fourth quarter lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet 
or they just executed better? Because they had two previous drives and ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And now out come the Bills. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Throwing on first down is Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 50 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, Allen. This is brought in by the tight end, Tommy Sweeney. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Jones throwing to start the drive. And he wisely will throw that one away. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The 10 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right. But the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. They run again with Harris. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run with Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now a give, running left is Harris. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to swell the lead to six. And Folk's kick is good, and that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Taken at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Allen in the Bills now. Down by six. 54 seconds to go. 
Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and ten. Allen. Into the hands of Singletary. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if you can make someone miss in the open field. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Allen. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Allen. That's complete. It's Cook. And he'll wind up getting about eight, but the clock will run. Also, don't forget, it's now third down. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He gets his complaint to Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.